Hello kids, this is Sir Mac. Today we'll be discussing about methods of magnetization. The first method is a single stroke method. We take a steel rod and strike the steel bar with a permanent magnet several times. The motion of the hand is like this. We use this permanent bar to align all the domains one by one. After repeating the process several times, you will attain poles on the steel bar. The end from where the magnet leaves attain the opposite poles used for striking. Let's bring this magnet to test. Oh, so it is now picking up iron nails. That means it has acquired magnetism. The second method is a double stroke method. In this method, we place a steel bar and we use two magnets instead of one. Opposite poles are used. This method is comparatively faster and now the poles of the magnet are induced. This shows that the steel bar has now become a magnet. Let's bring this magnet to test. Pick the bar and bring it close to the iron nails. Oh, they are attracting iron nails. That shows that the steel bar has acquired magnetism. The third metal is placing the steel bar in a DC solenoid, direct current supply. When we place the steel nail bar in a direct current supply, the magnetic field produced in the coil of the wire due to current aligns the domains in one direction and steel bar becomes a magnet. Let's remove the steel bar gradually after this. Now you can observe that this bar is now attracting the iron nails, therefore it has become a magnet. Oh, I hope you guys are not tired yet, because I am a little tired. Let's start with methods of demagnetization. So we have got four methods for demagnetization. By rough handling, by heating, by induction and by passing electricity. When we handle a magnet roughly, or we drop it, or hammer it, what happens is that when we repeatedly hammer on a magnet, it will free the magnetic dipoles inside the magnet from its ordered orientation. We know that the existence of the magnetic movement causes magnetism. So when we hammer it, the dipoles get disturbed. They lose their orientation and thus magnetic movements no longer exist. The second method is by heating a magnet. When we bring a magnet near a flame or increase the temperature of a magnet, the movement of the atom increase. At a certain temperature that is known as a Curie point, the magnet loses its magnetism. For iron, the Curie point is 770 degrees centigrade. And there are a few examples for you as well. The third method is by induction. When a given magnet is placed in contact with another similar magnet such that their similar poles are facing each other, then both of the magnets demagnetize in a couple of days. It is because both magnets will induce opposite polarity on each other. The fourth method is the most important one. It's by passing alternating current electricity supply. The magnet loses its magnetism as the alternating current changes direction continuously. Thank you so much. I hope you guys understood the concepts. Take care.